Shandy and Colleen. This is episode 100. Welcome to the show. I'm Colleen. I am Amanda. And I'm Shandy. And again, welcome to the show. (laughs) Very exciting. (laughs) Again, a second time welcome. All the welcomes. (laughs) I have a slightly different setup tonight where I've got the chat like on a different side. So, and then I realized I look kind of you know, I got the weird hairline on this side, so I'm going to have to switch. <laughs> I'm <gonna be> crazy. <laughs> I thought it looked lovely. And yeah. there's the behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. That's yep. all right. You missed me, like, art designing my, my bedroom, so. <laughs> True. I was in a different shirt, and then I saw Amanda, like, got fancy. So I was like, oh, my God, I have to step this up. Oh, my God. I didn't even notice that you changed shirt. Was your other shirt also yellow? No, my other shirt was our broadcast shirt. And then I was <laughs> oh. She's like, uh, no, it was like brown, <laughs> like a completely opposite color. Thank you for not noticing me. That's okay. <laughs> but I did notice that you have this beautiful Snow White thing going. Yes, we went to so, a, Jack had a birthday party and it was a uh, fairy garden themed. And nice. all the, they were these little like, you know, headbands and Ooh, all of the moms here. took them and the little kids really didn't have too much interest in them. <laughs> It's like, I love this. I'm probably never having a daughter, so I might as well just take advantage of all the things for the little girls. <laughs> I like it. I think it's a it's good. I'm here for it. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, how's it going, guys? We're doing this a little bit late, and that's totally my fault. I'm sorry about that. Uh Zach and I were pretty sick with the stomach virus on Monday. And I was not in any shape to do anything on Tuesdays. And I don't want to relive it so much that I'm not even going to tell the story. Just know there was puke. There was migraines. <laughs> there was everything else that comes with a stomach bug. Poop. So <laughs> I lost five pounds. I was like, great. I don't need Weight Watchers anymore. And then today I'm like, oh, damn it. I'm back up the three pounds. Um, one stomach, one stomach bug away from my goat weight. What? One stomach bug away from my goal weight. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. From the perfect dress size. <laughs> I got the Devil Wears Prada quote by a lot of people uh, this week. And especially yesterday when I rolled in to work with like a tight shirt. I was like, I haven't been able to wear this shirt in three years. I'm not going to be able to wear it again. So I'm going to wear it now, damn it. And then I'm probably going to donate it. So. <laughs> right. It's not going to fit by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, water weight. Yeah. Oh, good times. So. Well, you've made a miraculous recovery. You you look good. You sound good. You wouldn't know that you you had been so sick. For real. Well, that's very kind of you. Um, I know I had said that I was going to do the three tequila shots, and since I haven't really eaten like back at full capacity, because I'm you know still when you don't eat for two days, you know you. It's hard to just jump right back in. Mm-hmm. So to like straight up tequila one. shots? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I sort of eat a lot. So. I'm only going to do the one. And then um, I have champagne, which my champagne boy was supposed to come in here and pop. Champagne boy. So, um, Is that a, a twist off one this time? It is. It's not. It's a pop one. And I can't. You you found the one instance where a twist (laughs) off champagne bottle would make sense. I know. But then you Uh, wouldn't have the noise. I thought about champagne and I somehow don't have any at home. And then I was like, no, there's not really enough time to go get some. So I have um, some of my Montana beer. Nice. Not the sweet bong water. Not the bong water. (laughs) Um, This is a big sky IPA in the mug. And tonight I'm going with uh, Team Universe. Awesome. (laughs) Nice. nice. Uh Because, hello, the universe brought us all together. Yeah. And Amanda got her mug. I did. It literally, it arrived uh, today. I think today was the first day I have checked mail in probably a month. I'm not very good at (laughs) remembering (laughs) to check the mail because the mail room is like off, like outside of my normal trajectory from like, in the building door to the elevator up to my apartment. So does so, that not stress like, you out though? No, you would think I was like an avid mail checker when the mailbox was like right inside the vestibule, like of my last apartment building. Now I'm like, Oh, it's down there. It's fine. It's just junk mail. Anyway, junk mail. And once a month I get a real simple magazine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the person that pulls her car up to her mailbox. 
and gets the mail. <laughs> it's, it's that much work for me. <laughs> when it's mailbox is fire. far. Yeah. Mm. When it's not on fire, it's safer to just check it from your your car. <laughs> you just don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, we had some. I had some big news that I wanted to pop some champagne too. Oh, oh my! Myself, guys, under the desk. So if you guys want a vamp, this could be a disaster. Oh dear! No, while I actually just. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say while you're doing that, I want to give a, a quick shout out to the JFC because I said that I would. So, the Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the Jesus fucking fucking Zeist. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so well, you'll, know, you'll know it if it applies to you. Ooh, and that's all. Like it. <laughs> hey, Jay, can you help me? Oh, jeez, I'm gonna top myself off. This I have a lovely uh, rose uh, cider I'm working on here that I put oh, in a koozie that I wouldn't get uh, a ring on my desk. Nice. Oh, I only have one uh, coaster in here, so it really <laughs> it's problematic. Good times. Um, so my mug didn't come, although my mug shipped what? on Monday. What? I was, I was really excited. I thought it would make it here by Thursday, but it hasn't updated, um, even from like when it left the facility on on Monday. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, oh my God! There Fra- it is. Hey, Franz in the chat. This is the. Pro- I have a new setup tonight too. I thought I was being so smart. Yeah. putting the chat on a different screen and actually what's happening is now like I can't really look at it so I just looked over and saw that Frank was in the chat so oh, hello. Frank. hello my good friend Frank my good friend Frank from France <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh, okay. and he's like talking to our listeners and they're all chatting this though oh, this is great oh my god I love it he loves poop talks yes it makes him happy that's yes 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 oh, Wait, Frank, Frank yeah, you should please. go back <laughs> He missed the beginning seasons because there was a lot of poop talk. Night, it's squatty potty. Everybody. There was. There was a lot of it. He has reaped the benefits of that talk because <laughs> he has used the squatty potty, but he missed out on all the talk. Wow. Wow. Um, so he got hey, the benefit. If you want to go back yeah. to the archives, we actually have an episode titled The One with All the Poop Talk and Song Lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah with the song lyrics that was so Somewhere emo in the teens, i think yeah um pretty much our listenership dropped significantly after that one came out i wonder why <laughs> <laughs> i refuse to believe it because of the poop talk yeah come on our listeners know what they're getting yep when they come here i blame it on the analytics yeah all right, so here's the big announcement. Are you guys okay. ready? Because this might hijack the show for a minute. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jay is selling Tron. What? <laughs> Tron is leaving our house within 24 hours. Why? Oh, he got sick of it. He wants to get a Donkey Kong. And Donkey Kongs are like, like a third of the price of what Trons are. So we're selling the Tron tomorrow. He got, he got sick of it? He wanted to change it up. Okay. Right. That's fair. I'm just very surprised given how enthusiastic, I mean, what he went through for the Tron. I know it's not even, I would understand if this was like at our 200th episode, but like he hasn't had Tron that long. No, he got it last November. What? (laughs) Yeah. I swear to you, it was in like February. How is time moving so fast? It is moving so fast. I had a baby in February who's seven months and started crawling this week. Oh, man. I know he'll be seven months on Monday and he's crawling now three months ahead of his brother who was moving along like standing up at this point like along the couches but didn't crawl until 10 months anyway um, they say the younger ones uh, they do that stuff quicker because they have not that it's a competition yeah it's... they have an example <laughs> yeah and he did but yeah. I have a little video which I can't post but before he took a bath tonight I put him down because we're trying to get Paul McCartney tickets. And that's also like a whole big kind of cause of controversy, not controversy in this house, but like you want to talk about like constitutional crises going on. It was like a crisis of <laughs> should we get the pre-sale tickets tonight or should we risk it because they're not super great. And they're, we heard that like it's the more expensive ones that are part of the pre-sale because it's based on demand. Or do we wait until 10 o'clock tomorrow when everyone and their freaking mother is trying to get them? Because it's American Express presale, so you just need like an Amex card, which I have. So um, 
Anyway, we've been having this and we have um, 36, 34 minutes, I'm sorry, to decide whether or not to get these, which I'm here. So I guess we're not. But it's definitely been like a topic of conversation. So anyway, we left the baby unattended. And he started crawling all over the place like <laughs> butt naked. And I was like, oh, look how cute he is. Don't go too far. Mommy and daddy are trying to figure out tickets. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little army style crawl with his booty in the air. It was really cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, so Tron will be not be in our house anymore as of tomorrow evening. But we'll Tron is gone. seemingly be replaced by a new arcade game. Is that uh, is that what we're taking away from this? Not immediately, obviously. At some point, it will be replaced with a much cheaper one, I might add. That's what I've been told, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Tron is gone. Hashtag Tron is gone. All right. Wow. I'm so happy for you. Next week, Tron is gone. We're going to say ding dong, Tron is gone. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we all got to see it at the meetup. Yeah. And for all the right. next meetup, we'll see a different one. Yeah. The only other thing I had was a, a turtle update, which is that we have fish added now. And we have, because we have duckweed that was like overpowering it. And, um, Jay has been like really working really hard to like scoop it all out. And we finally saw the fish. They've been there for a month and they like they're koi fish. They're angel koi. See, I was paying attention. Oh, so they're fish you, you put koi. there. They didn't like they occur didn't naturally in nature, <laughs> but they like they swim in like a flying V. So like the fish swim together. It's real cute. But I've, I've dubbed oh them goodness. three fish cateers. Oh, I was going to say you should call them the mighty koi's. The Mighty Koi's, that's even better. I know, the Flying V. How did you not think of that? I don't know. I'm tired. (laughs) It's all that stomach bug. It is that stomach bug. And I have to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to Jay, who literally cleaned up like a (laughs) rug full of puke. It was was gross. And there was (laughs) and poop. It wasn't my poop. Poor Zach was having a no pan party because it, <laughs> it was just too hard. <laughs> no, then it just leaked out. I, I didn't want to talk oh about god. it, but the freeze wrong. Oh god. Uh, I mean, and then he puked. Like we got him to the toilet and then like we got him back to his room, then he puked, and then I puked, but I puked like an hour later. But anyway, whatever. Each of us threw up a lot, like over the course of the night. It, seeing that would make me want to puke. Um, yeah. that actually wasn't I was holding him and I was like oh and I because I had like a migraine before I threw up and I was like oh I guess he's throwing up I guess he's throwing up again Uh-oh. throwing up again and again it was like six or seven times not even kidding yeah, the first oh, time you just get a little time, numb to it oh um but Jay cleaned up everything like he took he picked up the toys he cleaned off the toys he cleaned out the books we did lose some books that were pretty forever unclean um <laughs> 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 Luckily, they were all ones that, you know, were like scholastic book club ones, so we could get them again. Uh, but uh, he cleaned up everything and like huge props because then he took care of us all, all night, including Alex. And like, Alex was like freaking out because he was like, Where's my mommy and her boobies? So, <laughs> had a really long night. Like, it was a long night for all of us, but like, big props. Like, thank you. I really like super lucky to have such a great partner at the time because I would have been useless and I don't know what I would have done without him. So yeah. And he cleaned off that whole rug and that rug was like nasty AF. So <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to throw it out and buy it. Is the rug is salvageable? It is. Cause he cleaned it up right away. Wow. Like, well, within a half an hour. Like he got us both down and like in a stable place and then went out and cleaned it up. And Zachy, to his credit, is so adorable and sweet that he had gotten sick and I had run into the bathroom. And this was, I think, while Jay might have been doing something with Alex or cleaning up. Maybe he was outside at that point. But I heard Zach run into the bathroom uh, for number two. He made it in time, but I like I was cleaning him up, and then like I started to get like all like ugh, like didn't feel good. And I know Zach didn't feel good. And he goes, "Mommy." Are you okay? I'll take you to your bedroom. And he took my hand oh, and, my God. and like walked me in. And I knew he didn't feel good. So oh, he was so oh. good. That's a nice little boy you got there. That is a nice little boy. I it I know. But anyway, I'm done talking. I <laughs> <laughs> was everybody else's night. <laughs> <laughs> I am 
really good. Yeah. How yeah. I see yoga seems to be going well. Yes. Oh my God. Amanda, I, I cannot thank you enough. So I saw I, your pussy cat, pussy crotch photo thing. <laughs> no, I really thought that was, we have this, we must have the same yoga mat. Cause that is the same color as my yoga mat. Nice. A nice sort of like green teal. Yeah. Yeah. It goes really well with my pink workout outfit, which is like my favorite one that nobody sees except for me in my room <laughs> when I'm doing my <laughs> yoga, except when I take pictures and post them on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, cute for that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, lots of, lots of yoga and meditation. This is like, this is what I've, well, I'm, I've been, you know, going to that meditation class on Saturdays and I'm supposed to do it every day. And of course I didn't for the first like four weeks. And then I finally did. And it's pretty awesome. And I've been pairing it with yoga, which I think I said last time, but I did it like all week. Took a break for the weekend because I was out of town, but like now I'm back at it and it's awesome. And I did it before uh, we started recording. Yes, Matt, that's what she said. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Just, you know, get you in the right headspace. That's right. Exactly. Just to, you know, like relieve some tension and, you know, (laughs) calm down. (laughs) Nice, nice. So it's been really good. Oh, I graduated from PT. I saw Yay. that. Congratulations. It's just like, it's just like all the things like, and I've, I've been like, I've been like running, but just like, I, I just feel like I'm more like slowly getting back into it and like really working on all the things that I should have been working on in the last couple of years. And I'm just really excited. It's great. Um, and I went to LA for the weekend. I saw the King Tut exhibit. Yeah. What? Ooh, how was that? It was ridiculous. Um, it was really, really cool. That was really cool. And then also that was at the California Science Center. Um, also there was the Endeavor, which I was like, holy shit. I fucking like, I saw the Endeavor fly over Monterey in 2012, I think. Yeah. When it went down there, which was like crazy. Cause I was at work and I happened to be outside and like looked up and it was flying over and just like nuts. That must have been um, cool. That honestly, yes. that must have been cooler to see than actually like seeing it in the museum. I, I think both were really cool. Um, and here's I thought a lot about Joanne because I was like, damn, this is some cool shit. Like that's NASA. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, NASA um, cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was just it was very impressive because it was so fucking big. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm setting yeah. up here. Um, but also just to think that it's actually been in space 25 times yeah. so I, re- I read the little things so that was really cool right so is, is it like the thing where you like just kind of you can walk around it like so it's in this big like hangar is that the correct terminology i think um, so. Yeah. that's where and they keep like plain shit yes yes exactly <laughs> yeah. um and so it's like you know a little bit of course, like up off the ground. So you can like walk under it and of course not like touch it or anything. Like it's not that low, but you can walk under it and walk all around it. Um, try to take a picture of it. But again, it's so big that it's hard to fit it all in. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so yeah, that was my weekend. It was pretty great. That sounds awesome. I'm going to be in LA next weekend. Nice. The lost finale concert, not lost finale concert, the lost, uh, (laughs) music Meet anniversary up? something or other something like that sure. <laughs> so if anybody's there hit me up i want to do a meetup i love meetups they're my favorite nice. yeah unfortunately i will not but i know I'm that would have been fun either. miss each other by a week god damn it now my ugh, sorry my whole setup this don't don't use ipads people <laughs> <laughs> well uh, i have to just go back to the old-fashioned way and have uh the <sighs> the two the toggle be- between the screens, which is what I'm yeah. doing. It's, it's fine. I, I can do it. I like to see your faces. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, too. I like to see my face too. It's very infrequent <laughs> that I look nice nowadays. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice. nice. Well, I'm very glad that, um, that you're doing yoga and that you're enjoying it. I know. It's great. I love, so I mean, like, I can't thank you enough. This is the best suggestion. I like, I really love how, it's again, we talked about it last time, but like, you know, the amount of time it's like shorter, but you can also do longer if you want. Um, this is all for Matt. <laughs> but I also really like that. It's just, it's kind of like back to basics and just like really slowing down. And like, so for example, like yesterday I kind of went nuts on my squats 
And my hamstrings were kind of like, holy shit. So I just looked up one of her videos specifically for hamstrings and did that. Oh, I've done that one. I like that one. Yeah, that was good. And then today I was kind of feeling like my back was kind of just, you know, out of whack. So I looked at back. Yeah. That one is one of my favorites because I tend to get like lower back issues. Uh So like that that one and like the the knee, there's one that she does that's like Uh gentle on your knees. That's Uh my other favorite. Ah, so yeah, I feel like it's just really like slowly and methodically, like actually building back up my strength and my flexibility and like all the things again that I was supposed to be doing for the last couple of years that I wasn't that led to, you know, me being where I am. But now I'm like, I'm back. I'm I'm back. I feel like I'm back. (sighs) That's That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I've started back up with my yoga routine this week. Nice. Mainly because it's been hot as balls here <laughs> and like, like 96% humidity. Like that's why my hair is doing this. Like I just, at this point I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> so I haven't been running cause it's just been too hot. And, yeah. um, we had hot. guests this past weekend. So, um, I was kind of out of commission for, for getting out there and running. So I've been like trying to do more yoga in the morning to like get back into that routine and, nice. You know, it doesn't feel like it, but winter is coming and uh, whatever. That's what Game of Thrones said. I heard that. I heard that winter got delayed, unfortunately. And now we've got to wait till next summer for winter. That's okay. It's not okay. I wish I had Game of Thrones. (laughs) That's all right. I don't care. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I I did pour champagne into my, this one. Nice. Nice. Uh, Actually, I have a request. So we've had a bunch of people buy mugs. And post pictures, but if I put a thread in the Facebook group, the main one, the uh, Facebook.com slash group slash Jane Jack group, as a thank you to Jacob, because he, you know, kind of put this together for us real quick. uh, Could everybody post their pictures of them and their mugs in there just so he knows like, hey, we love this stuff that you do. So thank you. Just as a thank you. Yes. And he's so good at it. Look at this. I know. It's so freaking fun. Yeah. Do I know how dumb I am? So when I went to buy my mug, I How didn't realize that there were one on either side. That's okay. I thought, you were buying one or the other. I thought you were buying one or the other. And I'm like, this is, it doesn't say like, I guess I'm buying the right one. Oh my God. That's really funny. Jay and thought it, it was two. Me. I was like, oh my God, I'm so dumb. It's on either side. Yeah, you can choose whatever you're feeling. You that can day. choose like whatever you're feeling that day. Yep. Sam, Team Universe. Uh, let me when check. I saw the Endeavor, I was Team Science. <laughs> let me check but in the actually, chat. Actually, also Universe quick. because it went into the right. Because it went. You can be both. The... I mean, exactly. I just... it does, you know, life does not have to be divided into two yep. categories. Exactly. All right. Uh, real quick, Matt said that Jay's selling Tron because he didn't wind up with Olivia Wilde. Which is a movie reference, so ha 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 ha. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm glad we all got to see it at the meetup. They all took turns playing with it. That was JP. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is here in the chat. Dan says, I ain't here for these chicks. I just want to see JP's woody commentary. <laughs> 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 He's actually watching from a lodge in Wyoming. Oh, very yeah, nice. so that's exciting. That's exciting. Um, Matt's what part like, of Wyoming? What part like of the, Wyoming? The Tetons, which in the Grand Tetons in French means the big nipples. So like the trappers who named that, they they had a good laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you know that. Uh, Ed's oh, in the chat, uh, says happy 100th. Uh, Mandy's in the chat. Um, Hi, Mandy. Uh, hey. hey, Mandy. Which actually, speaking of Mandy, we got uh-huh. some gifts in the mail. We did. Which Ooh. do you guys want to open real quick? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, sure. I have been waiting. They have been sitting like next to my nightstand. I've been so good. Although when Mandy's came, I was like, uh, "Gots in the chat." Janice is in the something? chat. Greg is in the chat. Sorry. Okay, and Frank was in the chat. Yes, Frank was in the yeah. chat. Yes. I think he's driving now, but. Okay. Um, no, when so, Mandy's came, I was like, I was like, wait, did I order something on Amazon and just forget it? I did the same thing. <laughs> totally possible. same, actually. Okay. So which, yeah, which one first? Do Mandy's first because she's in the chat. Okay. okay. Thank you in advance, Mandy. And I, the other one's from Mike, and I think he may be watching, but he's in the middle of the Adirondacks right now, so I. He said he oh, had didn't cool. know about his internet connection collection. Okay, I, I got a peek. So we ha- so we have to pull we have to pull it out now. 
<laughs> you don't want to get a UTI, Amanda. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you do not. Are we showing? Yeah. Yes, I think One, we two, three. So Mandy got us Dear Madam oh, President. Right. Uh, Jennifer Palmieri, it's an open letter to the women who will run the world. I'm not going to lie. I kind of cried when I opened this in the mail the other day. Oh, my goodness. May or may not be tearing up right now. Thank you, Mandy. May or may not now have a book to take with me um, when I go to Europe next month. I'm pretty pumped. Where are you going in Europe? I am going to Stockholm and Copenhagen. Awesome. Yeah, I have a friend that is uh, studying abroad. Um, She's at the University of Stockholm. Uh, she's, doing, she's doing a master's program at the university of stockholm awesome nice. thank you though i totally yeah. cried and i'm so excited oh to start God. this oh, this is really exciting uh, thank after you, i Lord. start and finish handmaid's tale which i still haven't done yet <laughs> uh, it's a quick book you'll get through it in like a week and a half yeah it's real short i think i get through this in like a day i just saw valerie Jurette is oh, I meant, mentioned I meant in here handmaid's tale oh handmaid's tale i've read the book yeah I got through oh. a, one plane ride. Oh, we're talking about the show. The I thought show. you were talking about the book. Yeah, I'm I haven't sorry. started season two yet. I'm the worst. All right. Anyway, let's move on. Thank That's you, something Mandy. I would totally take out. Thank you, we Mandy. This is so thoughtful. <laughs> we will have to, we'll report back on the podcast yes. once the three yes. of us have read the book. Thank you. All right. And then the next one, if you guys want to open it, pretty much speaks for itself. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Are we saying who it's from? Or it's is that Mike. part of the speaking for itself? Well, I mean, it definitely speaks for itself that it's from Mike when you see it. But okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh crap! Oh, it's some issues here. The best thing was when we didn't get Ooh. it the day he thought that we were going to get it. He was like, "I should have gotten the tracking. I knew it." And then I opened it the next day and was like, "You did not need tracking for this." <laughs> nice. nice. Ready? Are we showing? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It says F U Trump, you F and F. And that means fuck you, Trump, you fucking fuck. I was going to say, yeah. since when do we censor ourselves on this podcast? Well, and it's a I don't know. Koozie. Well, we're broadcasting live over the internet. All right. So essentially, yeah. it's a <laughs> fuck you in the face to. Fuck you in the face. <laughs> Although it'd probably be better if there was still a beverage in this glass. But you know what? It's, it's ceremonial. <laughs> Boom. Awesome. Yeah. I already, you, I already Mike. had to hide this from an electrician that came in the other day because you just never know. <laughs> you <laughs> really never do. It's true. Janice said, "Cool gift, Mandy," which it was a super cool gift. This is yeah. super cool. So I feel so loved. Me too. Me. Thank you. Me Thank you both. It's like Christmas and our birthday, like all wrapped up into one. I one know. event. And before I get yeah. like super sappy, which I'm totally gonna get at some point because we've got some sappy inducing feedback we do um I see this is why i intentionally don't read feedback before we record <laughs> oh i generally don't either but you know i did for some reason today is a special day yes it is a special day all right um uh, i was you know what i was actually going to to read that article the things that women should do to should stop feeling guilty about but I actually thought that since it's episode 100, maybe um, if anybody from the chat had something that they wanted to do. Um, also, we have a special guest right now. We are joined ah! by our fifth member, the, the fifth, fifth abroad. abroad. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a lot of crap for being on here, um, but uh, so be it. We you already know? talked they, about they crap. It's I... fine. Yeah, yeah it's so. good. Uh, it indeed. wouldn't. It wouldn't be appropriate because you know a uh, hundred episodes is divisible by five. So it seems like. <laughs> well, yes. There you go. <laughs> yep. Yes. And yeah. you know that all the crap is really just stemming from jealousy. <laughs> yeah, I do. I think so. So. <laughs> now, are you dr- also drinking um, booze out of a broadcast mug? No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not. Um, I don't. I don't have a, a fancy broadcast mug. I need to order one of More those. Booze. I need to get on that. Right, but you do More have booze. fancy water. You do have <laughs> La, La Croix, which I which I prefer to refer to as La Croix. La Croix. Yeah, it's real good. So I approve. Um, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the fancy one tonight. So in honor of mm-hmm. of you know going to Costco and all. So. <laughs> I decided to come in and work a little bit tonight, and, and I thought, oh, hey, you know, there's a show going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
congratulations. I didn't bring you guys any gifts or, or send any in advance. So, but your um, presence here is a gift. Exactly. Yeah. Your presence is our present. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go give us a five star review on iTunes. We'll take that too. <laughs> I both. Both is good. No. Exactly. It doesn't have to be an either or. Yeah. <laughs> or always into the both. That's what she said. <laughs> um, so, so what do you guys do here on the, on the, the broadcast here? You know, like uh, on the ramble cast, we've been going down this, this dive of just getting on IMDb and, and saying who was in this one thing. And what was the one lady that was in this one thing with that one guy? That sounds fun. That sounds like a real good use of the two hours you guys record for. <laughs> right? JK. How, how long was the most recent one? It seemed like it went on really long. Um, so. We actually, we do the same thing, but that's why I edit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why you're the better produced podcast, really, <laughs> is that somebody comes along and sweeps up all of the bits. That, well, that's because generally I am the fat, so I'm okay with trimming it, trimming myself. Okay. <laughs> I put our podcast on Weight Watchers. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm a lot of points. Um, <laughs> well, I was just saying that I generally it's the point of the show where we talk about like a news article or a, something. <laughs> Current well, events, maybe, current but like events. shit's too crazy right now. So. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, shit's shit's crazy. You missed the big con- the big news in our house, which is that Jay is selling Tron. So Tron. No, is- I actually heard about that. So I I'm excited that Donkey Kong is in the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's the best sentence I think I've heard all day. <laughs> I was really enjoying the yoga talk earlier. Um, that was because I've I've been trying to relax my back and, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, so totally. And and the lower back is really important to get those hamstrings and stretch out and you know, I'm I'm horrible about touching my toes. I don't know if anybody else can touch their toes, but I, I can't. I never could touch my toes and then I used to do a lot of Pilates before Zach was born and I got to be able from not being able to touch my toes to being able to go full palm on the floor. Oh wow. Yeah. That's well I used to do it like three times a week, so but then, you know, you have kids and you can't yeah. do that really no. as much. <laughs> and just then they get to changes. an age where you can and then you have another one. And you're like, oh, I got to start all over again. <laughs> These are just like softballs to Matt. <laughs> other Matt. Other, uh, other Matt. Uh, it's a very fruitful episode. Yeah. Well, yeah. I prefer I prefer hardballs to softballs. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's fair. Okay. I guess. I think it depends on the type of day, what I prefer. Yeah. On the time of day. <laughs> time of sure. day. Time, time of, of day. Time of, time of the day, week. Yeah. There are I mean, times, times of the day, especially in the morning when you're like, seriously, this is really annoying. And you, <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Oh. Personally, I don't really I don't really give too much thought about any kind of balls, hard or soft. Sure. But I mean, that's like my own shortcoming, perhaps. Yeah. Um, well, it's just a different experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ed says he has a Japanese girlfriend, always happy to massage him. And he also said this is the first time that we've had ball talk on the broadcast. We've had ball what? talk. What? We've had oh, ball we talk. talk about balls. We talk about how So, Matt, you were talking about how, like, you know, some days it's just kind of weird. And that reminds me, I don't know if I've talked about it on the broadcast, but, like, I've always thought that's just so odd, maybe interesting, whatever, that, like, men are just, like, sitting on their junk. Ish. Oh, that's pretty right. much. Yeah, they're kind of smashing it most of the time. Matt, did you ever listen to our episodes where we talked about which way you hang or zipper your pants or some shit like that? Yes. What was that? Yes, I, I did. And I, I, there's often times where I want to comment or write an email, but usually I'm doing chores at the time, and then I. I, I frequently to, have that problem as well, actually, with podcasts that I listen to. Yeah, I mean, really, like that's the time that okay, I'm getting I'm getting shit done. This is awesome, by the way, because we're on a no cussing zone. So, but uh, join us next uh, week. No cussing. When away. we're going to have an ask me anything uh, a live after dark. Oh so, fuck! I want to yeah. have an ask oh, me yeah. anything episode of the broadcast. Oh right. Well, let's do it. A we broadcast AMA. You know we can do that right fucking right now. now. You All right, are, guys. I Done. feel like you guys are trying to to trump our show. No. <laughs> no. You mean wait, go insane, just, go crazy? Um, are you I'm gonna? Just gonna, just gonna, <laughs> just gonna do that. For those listening to this show, uh, Shandy just swallowed some throw up when I mentioned the word Trump on this show. So. And then Amanda held up her "fuck you, Trump" in the 
Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Fucking fuck very, fuck. just in case you didn't see it here. It is very appropriate. I don't want to get kicked off the show. I'm I'm just honored that uh, uh, you uh, sent me the uh, invite to stop by for a brief visit. Because hey, this is not the. I think the, the, you are the, the fifth dude. Oh my god, you're actually I think might be the fifth dude to ever be on a show. So Jay was the first one. The second one was when we randomly called Dan. I don't know if Dan is still watching, but we randomly called Dan one day. Oh, Do you remember I that? that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dan. Uh, heavy, the, heavy panting was involved. Yep. And then the, the, <laughs> the third and the fourth ones were when we did our first live show, The Champagne Brunch, and we had Jacob and uh, Shut Up Tim on it. Oh. All right. Yeah. What? So wow. Matt is the you were pretty drunk at the champagne brunch. <laughs> you were. I actually wasn't because I was hungover. <laughs> yeah, a little behind the scenes. I was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we didn't. I'm sorry. I just blew up your spot. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It was I, I don't think I was ago. drunk. I was just real hungover. You had your hey. museum thing. That's where you met Tasia, right? Yes, yes, it was the morning after I met Tasia. Yeah, yes. see, I remember there's a, there's a whole story there. Sometime I will tell you in person and not on a live podcast. Fair. You have told us, I think. <laughs> Maybe. I may have told you half the story. God said, hey, I really? can talk to your parents. I speak right. So I speak righty. <laughs> Are you going to place an ad on Fox News and be like, your daughter is cussing Trump out? <laughs> JK, JK. <laughs> I can't edit this show, so I have to watch what I say. Hey, True. on our on our show, um, the some of the best bits are are left at the end. They're not recorded. So we were we were discussing like what patron level would you allow people to hear that stuff? Because because mm. you know you, you kind of you know the we'll just call it the shits and assholes part of the the podcast. The the beginning and the end. I don't know. It's the hot dog. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I don't. I don't hear the bits and pieces. You know, thank, thank you, thank you, Amanda. You're like, I yeah, it's following you kind of a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I'll give that a laugh. <laughs> well, it, it's those parts at the very end where you, where you maybe you keep talking and you say, oh, by the way, blah 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 blah. So and what you're all- saying is we need to do a fifty dollar level podcast. So only five people that we trust. Right, exactly. <laughs> the off the record cast. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and it's it, it is it is a like it's it's a uh, this what's this live show only, but it doesn't ever get released on a feed. So if nobody shows oh, up yes. for the live show, it's like it's like it. the Snapchat of podcasting. Oh, I like yes, that. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Especially. So <laughs> Patreon level would be like the Snap level. Oh my god, Snapcast! Snapcast! Yes! Yes. Maybe we'll do that every so often. Next time we hit a level of some sort, we'll do Snapcast. I like that as the patron hangout option, too, is the Snapcast, because then it's like, ho ho. Oh, remember that time that I yeah. brought every member of my family on the <laughs> hangout, and they all, nobody knew what they were walking into, and they all looked horrified, <laughs> except for my sister, who was like, yeah. oh hey! <laughs> My mom was in her pulling, pajamas. You just kept pulling random family members. So. Uh, that was pretty awesome. My brother-in-law was like, what the fuck is this? I don't have the internet. So, well, he does, but like he doesn't like do Facebook or, or anything. What's uh, an internet? He does know what it is. Uh, but uh, Greg said that this should be called the taints of the episode. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Oh, uh, Greg. Taint nothing wrong with that. So... Our episodes used to be a lot raunchier, I think, than they are. But, you know, since I started on the Zoloft, <laughs> things got a lot more, like, under control. <laughs> you're a mother of two now. You know, we have to have some decorum. Yeah, you're not running for office. Oh, you know, I've actually thought about that because that I, even on the local level, I don't think I could ever run for anything and it would be because of this show. I would have to go back and, like, do, like, a super-duper edit of a lot of our shows. Like, that whole... um. Uh, uh, what the fuck is it thing? Um, the thing with the thing. I know the episode that it was in. Like I could never ever like <laughs> it's that, a Thursday. It's like such a it's such a funny moment, but like I'd have to edit that out if like we ever if I ever wanted to like run for office or just in general. People were like, "Yo, she was a drunk on a podcast." Like. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's 2018. Right. We're millennials. In yeah. In the future, everyone will have been drunk on a podcast. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know, I think I wager that most people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I still think Gott was drunk with that call. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, season two of uh, If. Come join us. The fifth oh. broad is here. We should have all five broads on. I actually thought w- that we could form a like a kind of a a broadtron, you know, like a broadcast v- Voltron, you know, all five Hold members on. combined. I actually don't know yeah. anything about Tron. <laughs> yeah, I know when five okay. powers are combined. Yeah, this- like Voltron. There's That's like five lions, and they they all combined it. No. No. We're talking about a couple. Help me hit the Captain Planet uh, analogy. Yeah. I got that. Okay, all right, there we go. That works. Yeah. Okay, so, so one of my friends, um, one of my very dear friends, a story about how they used to play Captain Planet when she was a kid, but there were more than five of them, so they had to like create <laughs> different things, and one of them was trees. <laughs> <laughs> Wind, fire. So you guys can't see, but James Whatever. joined us. Let me catch you up real quick. No, I get. I, honestly, I feel like trees makes more sense than heart. Mm-hmm. Like trees yeah. seems more because oh, what does trees fall into? Was it earth? Was earth one? Yeah, but like earth, that's like yeah, you know dirt, terra right. firma. Right. Like it's not a. And trees grow from the dirt. <laughs> Composting is a power, people. To be able to compost something. Untapped. I just feel like trees, like trees are fucking badass. They'll fucking fuck badass. your shit up. No, actually, trees are really it's, fascinating. It's they funny. like talk to each other and shit. Yeah, exactly. like, they communicate just... with their roots and shit. Yes. It, oh my God. How they share resources. Like, oh, And like if know. one dies, they like mourn and stuff like that. What? Trees mourn. Yeah. I believe it. Trees are. Yeah. I, I, it was some video I watched, like documentary. Uh-huh. I mean, it was, was, by, really it was a documentary by Tree Hugger, so it was probably biased, but <laughs> I believed it. I bought a hook, line, it was, and okay, You just it was got a little bit Nick okay. on us right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jay, it there's was no fairy. proof that it's the trees that are actually more. No, I am, okay. I am an unabashed tree lover, okay? I, I, I bought a house because I love the trees around me. And the party deck. That You were the party deck. <laughs> you were the party deck. I liked that the trees were mine. It's an awesome parties um so anyway we were talking about adding a patreon level in which we talk about the taints of the <laughs> topics which is everything you wouldn't want like people to hear it'd be like a Snapcast, like a snapchat podcast where it was just live but then like we deleted the video afterwards and it never went on a feed that's uh, and we talked about things that that's you know, cool that's a good I idea normally edit out because i could never run for public office because of all these podcasts that i do <laughs> I mean, I feel I don't like. No, I mean, look at the highest office. <laughs> <laughs> That's I right. Mean, There's a lot of Howard Stern videos that are still yet to come yeah. out. <laughs> and he hasn't run for office yet, Howard Stern. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he ever will. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. Sorry, that was not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Janice said I'd be awesome in the government. <laughs> I Colleen know. would. I mean, I, I think she'd be a great lawyer. I think she'd be a great lot of things. She's got it. You have to believe in yourself. I don't want to be a you lawyer. You have to believe. No. Trees. <laughs> <laughs> trees. So what in what order what did the trees like was like it's like Earth. It was, a, it was at the end. So she, oh, she, okay. <laughs> Cuz heart was like, usually last, right? Heart was last. <laughs> and trees. And trees. <laughs> like how was many that the only was additional one? Yeah, like, like were there other ones? Pigs or <laughs> Pigs, right <Why> pigs. <laughs> I don't know. Animals. Matt, you took it to a dark place. <laughs> Glaciers. A pig, so we can comment on the horrible uh, corporations uh, slaughtering pigs. Hey, the yeah, free market demands it, it Jay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking of like lovely pigs, you know, like power pigs. That's some pig. <laughs> That's some pig. That'll do, pig. pig. That'll do. Mm. Oh, oh. Man, so sad. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, we were about to start some facey back, uh, or just. Do the women need to be alone for this? Because I can. I can yeah, I can. I can dip out too. We don't need to be yeah, alone. I mean, I mean, we'll kick you out at some point. Please be for sure. Um, <laughs> just as long as like women explain me the reasoning before okay, you kick me well, out. Well, what if we? <laughs> is there any? Is there a question or something in part of our face back in general? Face back feedback. 
<laughs> farting in your face, you back feedback, that the gentlemen on this podcast who are honorary. And, and speaking of honor, like, Matt, congratulations on your hard fought versus win this week. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I could not have done it without Dan and all of the back dealings. So, yeah, happened, slightly controversial. I, I've, I have really no idea what went on, honestly. Like, Me neither. I'm surprised. I voted for Home Alone. I originally voted for Plain Train Zombie because that's my favorite. But then I was like, ah, between the two, I like Ferris Bueller better than Breakfast Club. So I went Ferris Bueller. Wait, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles was John Hughes? Yeah, directed yeah, and was. written by. Wow. In case yeah, anybody so is, is wondering, Mom. the verses wow, those the aren't Rambo like cast. the type of film I would associate with him. That's fascinating. Exactly, it's. I think it's one of the best comedies of the eighties, and the mm-hmm. Ring series too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of reach. If anybody wants to check out the episode of the Ramblecast that we're talking about, well, I think everyone listening to this probably listens to the Ramblecast. Yeah, probably. Uh, they do a version. I don't listen to the Ramblecast, but I heard it was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the best John Hughes movie. And um, what's it called? That one just the won. The Breakfast, Club. Breakfast Club won. Breakfast Club won. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. there was a lot of politicking going. Involved. It was I Dan like pulling his usual ser- serial back. killer Seriously, stuff. Seriously, Dan quit PO and then decided he had to go <laughs> politics somewhere else. <laughs> Wait, is he still gone from PO? Yeah, he's he's gone for right now. Oh, Kayla's in the chat. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Kayla. Hello, yeah, Kayla. He's still gone for right now. Um, but Shandy <laughs> and Matt, neither of you were in, and I. I know that Gott and I know that Matt and Greg, I I know that Gott and Greg were there for this. And I don't know if, if Mike is in the chat or not, but like the best Dan hair flip moment ever was back. I was still pregnant. So it was sometime like early last year in the wintertime. And he got so mad over something that he literally posted a link to an, a mirror in Am- like an, an Amazon link to a mirror and was like, you guys should all take a look in the mirror at yourselves. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm out. And <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was really yeah. funny. <laughs> he didn't leave, but it was, <laughs> it was my favorite moment to this day in PO. That even tops the... Um, um, Blood running down your legs because of sitting on the fence. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That's, yes. Well, that, that is that, imaginative. That, <laughs> yes. That, I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember. That. He has a way with words. Dan definitely has a way with words. Dan Dan gets on fire. No, that Dan is my Dan definitely favorite. has a list. <laughs> That's my favorite Dan moment. That's my favorite of all PO moments was when he posted the link to the mirror. And we were all kind of like, okay. <laughs> And I don't even know what we were talking about. <laughs> but anyway. All right. Uh, is there something? We usually do Andy last, but do you guys want to uh, give your opinion on an Andy update? Ooh. Ooh. We'll do Andy first this time. Yeah. Wow. I'm changing it up. Ooh. Wait. What happened to Jay? No, Jay's here. I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't see, can't see you. Him. You're, you're just like an invisible right. guy. He doesn't have a camera on him. Okay. I'm just respecting my place in this. I'm I'm imagining him beardless. No, I still have a beard. (laughs) I know, but I can imagine. (laughs) A boy can imagine. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I'm derailing this. On with Andy. Okay, so we have 100 episodes of Broads, 56 of Andy's Virginity, and Addendum. Nice. Addendum? Addendum. Addendum. Is it Addendum? It's addendum. Addendum. I thought it was appendix. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was duodenum. Annex? I didn't do. Oh my okay. god, just read it. <laughs> That's the lead singer of Eurythmics. <laughs> hey, Broads. Happy 100th episode. Uh, to respond to the concern about my last letter, I've talked about a lot of these formative experiences with my therapist in the five years I've been seeing him. He believes a lot of my inertia in my dating life and career stems from the insecurities that took root back then. Obviously, I still have a lot of work to do on these issues. As we we reflect on the show hitting its 100th episode, I'm reflecting again on my experiences since my first letter. Needless to say, things haven't played out the way I expected them to. 
but that seems to be pretty much the case with this entire journey. Pretty much every attempt I made failed miserably. Yes, I got a few dates online, but considering the amount of time I put into looking, I can't say it was really worth it. I'd like to tell you about some more dates I've gone on, but you've heard all four. I was hoping by now I would have had at least one story about breaking the virgin news, but things have been quiet dating-wise for over six months. Probably the biggest difference between expectation and reality was that I wasn't planning on writing back as often as I have. I figure I'd chime in at most once a month or whenever something happened, but I like keeping you updated about my misadventures trying to find love as a geriatric virgin uh, or my activities adjacent to that pursuit. I really appreciate your kindness. I've put in a lot of thought about how I will tell you about it when the time comes. Anyone expecting a really steamy recap or ahem, blow by blow, will likely be disappointed. (laughs) Even though I am anonymous, I'll probably leave out the explicit details for the sake of her privacy. Since it's just me now, I control what I tell you, but she isn't signing up for that. I've also thought about telling this theoretical her about you so that she can have some input. I'm sure you understand. While you've all been candid about your personal experiences, I don't think any reasonable person expects you to talk about every aspect of your personal life. Well, I have an update. As I mentioned, I've been thinking about asking my long-term crush, Alice, out. The other day at work, I was heading to my car to get to go get some lunch. As I turned it on uh, to head out, the radio just happened to be playing Raspberry Beret by Prince. That song, if you don't know, is about a guy who loses his virginity to a woman with the... Ep- uh, ep- Ooh, Robot Shandy uh, made an appearance! Eponymous <laughs> hat. Huh? Robot Shandy showed up for our 100th. Oh, episode. shit! It was just the last For episode. our 100th. <laughs> and it was not a fart. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just saying. Um, as I've said, I'm not a fan of the universe way of thinking, universe get a mug post a picture <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like charlie brown in the football anyway i decided to use this random moment as a motivator to see alice to see if alice is interested in going out sometime it still took me a while to work up the nerve to do this but i got to it a few days later while listening to the radio and tuning into a station playing you guessed it raspberry right i also happen to be wearing a prince t-shirt Later that day, it came up on my phone on shuffle. So I decided to humor Colleen's universe philosophy. Later, as my thumb hovered over the send button, uh, a show I was watching brought up the whole universe thing. Still skeptical. (laughs) Oh, that's totally how I met your mother. We've talked about this. (laughs) Still skeptical. I figure, why not? And pressed send. She has not responded. The universe can suck it. Regardless, congratulations on your 100th episode. Who knows what the next 100 and beyond will bring. Hopefully it won't take another 100 episodes before I get laid. Your show means a lot to me. It's another great reason to look forward to Fridays. I appreciate your advice. I'm really happy to hear you consider me a friend. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to meet you three in person. And if the world happens to end, then see if Shandy is still on board with her offer. <laughs> because, of course, the rules of consent still apply during Armageddon. That's Thank true. you, Andy. Ah. <laughs> Hashtag I'm with hers 100 and the addendum. Hey, Broads, uh, upside to the delay is I have an update for you. I heard back from Alice, who is still on a break from dating, but she's okay with meeting up as friends. I agreed, but we haven't set up anything just yet. This is for the best. I think one of the things that's been made clear is I suck at dating. Literally, like, really suck. So I should stop trying to look for someone to be my girlfriend slash first sexual partner and start trying to look for a new friend and see where it goes from there. Ultimately, no one gets exactly what they want or expect. But if I keep an open mind and say yes more often, the possibilities are endless. I'll keep you posted. Hashtag I'm with hers. Boom. Nice. (laughs) Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. So do you guys have any advice for Andy um, as listeners? As a male that was once a virgin? (laughs) (laughs) Precisely. You guys can relate. (laughs) Well, I I came out of the womb basically like not a virgin. So I really don't know what this this is about. But for the sake of argument, 
Sure. Um, I, I joke. Head. I kid. Uh, it's it's how I've, I've I've always dealt with. Are you things. Catholic? So, oh no. Uh. That's a that's a sick burn. I am Catholic, and I'm like a I'm like a very like disappointed Catholic. Horribly, Jesus, horribly disappointed. disappointed or disappointing? Like disaffected, disappointed, like on a on a break, Catholic. Well, speaking of uh, Andy's disappointment, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I know that when, when Ooh, now we've got robot Matt. Oh, oh no! How bad is it, guys? Still doesn't sound like a fart. Oh, okay. Still doesn't sound like a fart. <laughs> After you compress it, I bet you it will. <laughs> It'll just be one big... <laughs> Long and drawn out. I will say, uh, before we, we move on real quick, um, Janice's son is avoiding going to bedtime so he can get a shout-out. So, hey, Declan, how's it going? Declan, Aww. you rock. Hey. hey. Uh, thanks for listening. Now go to bed and don't give your parents a hard time. <laughs> got some stuff to talk about as far as Lujan. <laughs> Stick around, Declan. Got some more things and, to uh, talk about. Hi, Mandy's daughter, Matt, Maddie, who wanted to know if um, this is the Shandy that she went to lunch with. That's true. That's correct. Oh, yes. no good the one and only? The one and the same? The, yes, it's mm. me. All right, sorry. Back to Matt being a maybe virgin. Um, anyway, maybe okay. I'll just go with the the uh, the thing that that my wife said was really good life advice. Okay, I'll just go back to that. So I was talking about teaching painting. So it's a metaphor, right? Okay. Um, when you're painting and you're first starting out and you don't know anything about it, it is like really terrifying. And most people think that they're awful and they should just mm-hmm. go into a closet and never keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's a few people that are like, man, I'm really good. And they have this confidence where they don't even want to like realize that, hey, maybe they could become a little bit better, even though they, they have some ability. So so in the scale of life, you're kind of one or the two, and you really need to be somewhere in the middle where you have that confidence to say, hey, I can do this. I'm not going to completely suck at life or whatever that I'm doing. Um, but a, a little bit more critical, you know, to say, Hey, I'm not a complete narcissist and think everything I say is like the greatest shit in the world. <laughs> so, um, with that, I know that's pretty broad strokes to paint, um, what you should do or how you should approach life. But I really like his addendum and how he's starting to think about connecting with others. Because when I was in a lonely place and I felt like I was never going to have a girlfriend again, and I was never going to get laid a second time. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can get laid once. That's easy. But a second time? <laughs> can you do with it a again? different person? <laughs> well, that's did you? Little... Somebody will make a mistake and want to sleep with me twice? <laughs> right, exactly. So, so, anyway, I was thirsty for a long time. And, uh, oh I, you know, I really didn't know how I was ever going to get out of this desert. You know, because I felt like I was everybody's friend, even though I had a lot of different opportunities, um, nothing ever kind of was like what I wanted. Right. So, um, and eventually something just kind of happened and it was, it was through those connections with other people that had I not made those connections and started putting myself out there. So maybe Alice isn't the one, but maybe her friendship that you have with her, like will lead to something else that is the one. You know, or not even worry about the one. Just somebody else to talk to and somebody else to date. A one. A one. And not the sauce. Exactly. (laughs) And not the sauce. (laughs) Anyway. If you're into that kind of thing, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Go for it. (laughs) (laughs) That's very good advice, Matt. That is very good advice. Yeah. I like the whole analogy with with painting and yeah. Very solid advice. The broad strokes. It's both broad like strokes. <laughs> the first and the broadcast. Like, yep. just congratulations. Episode title, <laughs> right. broad strokes. Oh, uh, yes. This <laughs> is why um, you are the fifth of broad. The fifth oh, of broad. thanks. Yep. You're lucky that um, I gave you five minutes notice. Hey, you want to jump on and not uh, <laughs> and not like um, a day's notice because it would have been like, yo, jump on and give us a top ten list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that would have been good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. With my top ten list. So. Um, but, hey, you know, you've got Jay with his turtles, and I feel like that 
That is where the fourth broadcaster comes in. He is the fourth broadcaster. <laughs> no, I think he's trying to like oh. give me a segue to say something about. Yeah, exactly. Hey, okay. you know, thank you. And one of those softballs that he's not such a fan of. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we call a callback. Yes. <laughs> Those softballs, they can be squishy and get in the way. So we've heard. <laughs> Matt likes hardballs, not softballs. Okay. Preferably, right, Jay? If you're playing like baseball? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay. With baseball sex, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, because like first base, second base. Yeah, that's true. Right. I mean, are, are you saying like like a blue ball situation? Is that what you're trying to avoid? No, I don't know. It was really just. <laughs> it was, I was really just a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was I was just, just trying to think like physically, like if your balls get hard or something, and it's uncomfortable. Somewhere Anyways, between. you can't always be a hard ball, and you can't always be a softball. You got to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be firm, but you want to be able to have a little give and take. I mean, that's how I like my eggs. <laughs> I'm a yeah, I'm an eggs over easy guy. Like you know, I like oh yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I like my yolk to get all over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Except for earlier when I. <laughs> Oh man, this this took another turn here with the eggs <laughs> metaphor. That's good stuff. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and I, I mean, I just I guess to get back to your email um, again, as 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 being a male virgin myself at one point in my life, um, I too went through like this re- like in high school, like I just hit this stretch of like I've always been a confident kind of carefree person, like I like okay with my nerdness but like somewhere at like 17 years old through like 19 i just got really self-conscious um mm. and i don't i don't even know why i don't know if it was like hormonal just part of like becoming uh, that transition you in life moved. and i moved i moved to raleigh north carolina and i was miserable and so yeah I, I just i i i've been there and the only way you know that you can kind of get out of it is i think or at least the way I got out of it was just eventually just meeting people and dating people and just getting, you know, more comfortable. And, and the more you found that you were able to engage with somebody else, the more you realize that you had worth as a human. Maybe I shouldn't place my worth in somebody else, but I don't know. Just, you realize that, okay, a lot of what was in my head was just in my head. And, uh, I, I did have something to give. The more experience you had, the more you realize it wasn't like your insular thoughts that were. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like, like, yeah, it was like yeah. my head is like, oh, you're ugly or oh, your butt's too big or whatever. Like, I was really self conscious about my ass size back then. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, really? Jay still talks about it. <laughs> yeah, I was just like really self conscious. I thought I had a gigantic butt and I thought no I one would did. like me. Um, it makes you feel any better. I've never noticed your ass size. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But I was just like really so I I just I look back now I'm like what was my deal but it was just something that I was so freaked out about but anyway so ha- having been self conscious about whatever and not and not having confidence um, uh, all I can say is that once you once you do put yourself out there and you engage I think you find that no matter what insecurities you have about yourself you do have value um, and you are an awesome person and um, it'll happen I think just the key is. Um, taking the little baby steps and, and getting there. Cool. Thank you, broads, extra broads. Uh, thank you, sub broads. I will, I will sign off now because <laughs> yeah. this is Are a broadcast. This off? isn't a, a dudes and uh, broadcast. Because we got a couple emails that kiss our ass real bad, so we don't want to make you feel bad, so... Yeah, uh, no, I think you guys are great. <laughs> so I'm not even on the Ramblecast anymore. Matt's replaced me because he's way better, so... No, no, they miss you. They miss you a lot. So everybody does. They because they were like, oh, my God, our shows were an hour. And now they're two hours again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I miss about Jay being on there. You know, he kept a tight ship there. You know, it's like there was a timer, actually. Oh, I go to bed at a reasonable hour. Speaking of a you tight can, ship. I yes. hear that. Yep. Yeah, all right. An hour all right. Uh, Broads, so. congr- congr- congratulations on 100 episodes. You guys are fantastic. You've built an amazing show. Um, and uh, I'm proud of everything you guys have accomplished. Congrats on 100. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for listening in the other room through 100 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will just say goodbye. Um, thanks a lot for having me on the show. Thanks um, for joining so us. So honored. And, uh, you know, your show is, it's not just one in a million. It's one in a billion. 
right? Oh, well, that's we'll the sweetest up. thing you could have said to us. <laughs> We're one in a billion. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hope, hope to be nice. back for, for another hundred. So. Thank you. You yeah. can come back you. at episode 200. And right. Come back what, before 100. Whatever yeah. live show we do in next May, which you are coming to, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. Cool. All well, right. thank you so much. Have a good evening. Enjoy the okay. Roy. Good night. <laughs> right, good night. Good night. <laughs> Bye. All right. Uh, guys, let's get to – so I'm going to read our facey back next week. Um, just – because we're running kind of kind of short on time, but we do have a voicemail from Matt. So mm-hmm. let me try mm-hmm. to not fuck that up and play this. So here we go. Hey, broads. It's your old friend Matt. Um, send you a voice message to wish you a happy 100th episode. Uh, I guess I just want to congratulate you on being able to keep it going uh, at it this long. I mean... Uh, you know, so many guys just, you know, they do one, two, three, and then they, they stop, and they just leave me unsatisfied. But you guys got the stamina to just keep keep going for, for so long, and I'm just, I, I just want to say thank you. And uh, also, where am I on this list of the, the supplementary broads? I mean, we know Jay and uh, other Matt are four and five, so um, I guess I don't get to be let me just pause this for a second and go, wow, that was a big coincidence. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, universe, we I, get it. Yeah, I definitely did not listen to the voicemail beforehand because it came in, you know, right before we started. All right, let me right, resume. Right. The, the supplementary broads. I mean, we know Jay and uh, other Matt are four and five, so um, I guess I don't get to be on top. Um but, uh, you know, I'll gladly take six. Uh, you know, I could even take seven or eight. Uh, even certain circumstances, I could take like a ten or higher, you know. Um, and I hope all of this is just so clear and concise and just n- there's no possible way to misconstrue anything that I've been saying. Um, yeah, so I, I obviously really like your show, um, so, but sometimes I, I got to confess, I do get impatient, sometimes waiting for the episodes. Um, you know, I'm usually just kind of lying there, because I usually do my podcast thinking while I'm lying down. I'm lying there, and I'm thinking, like, are you ever going to come? And then <laughs> and then you do, you, know, you, you, you get it out, and then I am on it. It is, I just, you know, I, you know I'm just... <laughs> fully on board um yeah so uh i also listened to the first episode again and got the very first that's what she said moment um for those uh who haven't listened to it in uh, a while um turns out the first that's what she said belongs to amanda she had the first one with uh Oh no! I messed it up already. Um, this was uh, in the original context. The she apologized for um, it accidentally uh, when you guys introdu- when you ladies introduced yourselves. Shandy and Amanda talked at the same time, and then Amanda said she messed it up already. So there you go. And uh, also, I forgot to I forgot to mention during the uh, like one of the anniversaries, the two year anniversary show. Uh, the one that's what she said where I think it was just a little too wrong to reveal, but I figure might as well say for the 100th episode. Um, mm-hmm. The original context of this was uh, it must have been right after uh, Alex was born and Colleen was comparing uh, the experiences and um, she let this one uh, this one loose. Uh, she said Zach was an inch bigger. All right. Happy 100th, and here's too many, many more. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Zach is not bigger. <laughs> That's why my children can now never run for public office. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just or kidding. ever listen to any of this no. ever. <laughs> no, I'm actually totally just kidding about that. Um. <laughs> So, Amanda, congratulations. Your first sentence on the podcast ever was apparently that's what she said. Not surprising. <laughs> oh, good times. Matt, you can be the sixth abroad. I don't know what the sixth, like, we need a different name for that because, like, this, right. you know, but let's think. We'll workshop it. Yeah. 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 But you can be the sixth broad. I'm totally cool with that. 
And if I had listened to this ahead of time, I don't know. I would have been more prepared, but. <laughs> we'll work. Yeah, we'll think of it. There, it's there. It's there. Oh. Just, you know, just past our grasp. No. Uh, JP says that that was the first voicemail that he's ever heard that made him crave a cigarette in a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla says it's hard when they start so young. I started playing a lot later than most people. Okay, I totally missed whatever the beginning of <laughs> this conversation is. <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Shandy, your husband is back, so that's exciting. Hey, Frank. All right, uh, let's finish up. We've got a couple more emails. I assigned them before while you guys were all talking. Uh, starting with yes I saw that yes I did not genius let's bank through those real quick that's what she said Um, and Uh then we Uh can all go home and I can be finished before Alex has his 11 o'clock wake up (laughs) okay (laughs) sounds like a plan all right so our first email is from Mandy Uh, happy 100th hello ladies I remember when the first broadcast episode showed up on my feed. My first thought was, let's give this a try. I loved Colleen and Shandy on the the tribe, sorry, words, and quickly loved Amanda just as much. From the silly to the serious conversation. Ooh, someone's roboting. You. I'll start from the beginning. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Uh, I remember when the first broadcast episode showed up in my feed. My First thought was, let's give it a try. I loved Colleen and Shandy on the tribe and quickly loved Amanda just as much. From the silly to the serious conversations, you three make Friday afternoons or drive home made more bearable. A few weeks ago, I listened to an interview with Jennifer uh, Palmieri on the West Wing Weekly, which I started after Amanda's suggestion, at a go girl. Uh, I ordered her book, Dear Madam President, and absolutely loved it. Hopefully you all love it just as much. Happy 100th and looking forward to the next 100. Heart, heart, heart. I can't wait to read it. And I love that you got the idea from the West Wing Weekly. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's even better. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And uh, I'm really glad that we could make your Fridays, you know, better. I actually... I know Friday is not a great podcast release day, like it traditionally has lower downloads, lower listeners or whatever, because people just generally don't, you know, do that, uh, listen to them on the weekends. But I I wanted us to be like, you know, because we are, I feel like we're society, but we're also entertainment society. And I wanted us to be something that was more like a hangout girls night in podcast form or, you know. So, cool. I'm glad. Yay. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. Thank you so much, Mandy. Uh, Yes. Thank you, Mandy. All right. Our next email is from Greg. Yes. Greg writes in happy 100. Hey, broads. Happy 100th episode. Holy shit. You're in the triple digits. Amanda, Shandy, and Colleen. Thank you so much for your podcast. For this podcast. Sorry. Your chemistry comes through on each episode so much that I heard people be surprised that the three of you were never in the same room until Raleigh this year. You've got something special there. Oh, no. I'll always remember you three messaging me on Facebook and offering advice for my online dating love life. As I told you back then, I'm not really in a place where I'm pursuing anything, but when I'm ready, I'll have a kick-ass profile. Yeah, You You doing that before we ever met really speaks to how caring you all are. I truly appreciate you. Oh, well, we yeah. appreciate you. That was Amanda's awesome advice back in. Yes, it was. It's uh, only, you know, February. Only from lots of really unfortunate online dating experience. So, you know, whatever I can pass along. Uh, he says, before I ramble on for too long, I'll just say that having the views of three different yet equally badass women each week is truly healthy and needed for me. It's truly helping me. It's truly helping make me who I am. So thank you. Thank you for all you do. I hope the live show is going well and that we get another 100 episodes with love. Greg, P.S. To help foster a discussion, what is the proudest moment each of you have on the broadcast? Dun, dun, dun. That's so hard. I have a thought, and it might be recency bias, but it's also not recency bias because it actually made me cry. When (laughs) Gott wrote us that he was identified as feminist. 
I knew answered. that's what you yeah. were going to say. <laughs> that was a good moment. <laughs> yeah. If I can turn one person into a feminist, like, and by I, I mean we, sorry. But that's, you know, yes, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, I guess it's, I am someone who can never pick a favorite. So, like, <laughs> I really struggle picking a moment. But I, I think in general, I tend to really love those moments when, you know, we've been so blessed that people write in, like, really... Yes. Really personal yes. and honest stuff. And sometimes I think. And every week. Maybe. Yeah. And like maybe even more honest and open than even I would be in in any situation. And it just, it always makes me so proud that whatever we are doing, it makes people feel safe and comfortable mm-hmm. and like they can expose a part of themselves and, you know, ask something. And yeah, I think those are, those are the moments that I think. Just that the spirit of it, I think I'm the most proud of. Definitely. And like thinking back to something in particular, I'm thinking about when the tribe still did exist and something happened on Survivor that one of our listeners who listened, and I'm talking about Joanne here. Hey, Joanne. Oh, who, listened yeah, to, yeah. who listened to both podcasts, the tribe and the broadcast, Um, even though the tribe was the podcast about survivor, she wrote in to the broadcast and felt comfortable sharing just her story with us on the broadcast. Yeah. That was what it had to do with, because it had to do with survivors and it was just like, wow, that's like, I'm, I'm honored that you would write into us. And I'm, I'm like in a weird way, like even more honored that like, you're not writing into our survivor podcast about the survivor related event, but you're yeah. writing into the broadcast specifically because hopefully we've created a safe space and yeah. that's cool. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I, I have had so many moments. Um, and that was, I was going to, you know, bring up the Joanne one because that, when I read that email at first, it was literally like in the middle of the night when I got up to pee and I read that email <laughs> and I was like, whoa, like, am I reading this right? And I, you know, started crying at like two o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh my God, like, I can't believe that, you know, somebody thought, you know, of us to, to do this. Like, this is incredible to share this. Um, but just so many other moments. And I just have random moments where where I, I get proud. And, um, you know, because in the scheme of things, we are a little podcast. We don't have a huge listenership. We don't, I feel like, you know, we're not changing the world in terms of podcasts, you know, like how a serial is or something, you know, that's, that's what I mean. Um, but I get really proud every time somebody, you know, comes up to like, or, you know, comes up to me, like online comes up to me and says, uh, you know, I, I love your show. And, and I'm like, you you know, you have a great show. And I, and I'm, I'm always very, very, like, touched by that. And, you know, I had somebody from work who listened to it and said that she loved it. And I thought that that was – that moment actually made me really proud. And, Rachel, if you're listening, like, that made me super proud that when you came up and, like, said that you really liked it. Because you were probably one of the first people that, like – know me peripherally in real life that listened and said that they loved it because before like I've kept it very insular like to the podcast community but not here and that really changed my attitude a lot about it so I was really you know proud of the work that we do knowing that this isn't just some this is something that like real life people in my life you know are like so that was a really big moment for me um we've just Every time we say, like, we want to hear these stories, um, when I talked about my miscarriage and then got emails about that, mm-hmm. um, yeah. other people sharing, that was, that was incredible. Or uh, when, uh, I, I don't know, just any time we ever, like, kind of solicit Andy's stuff, you know, I can't believe that somebody really wants to go through this with, uh, like, their, this big experience in their life with us. Like, that's just really cool. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And, Again, I love any time we invite people to share things. Like I've I've always said this, the first the virginity thing, like the losing the virginity story. So we had weeks of people writing in. Oh my god. That, that was, was freaking awesome. Uh, yeah. so I just I don't know. I just I Yeah, no, I and, love it and I mean 
it, the, I think the community that's built up around it, it's like, like you said, we're a little podcast, but our, the people who actually listen to the podcast fucking rock. Yes. Like, and like, we're so I would be, I would be remiss if I did not mention JP with the Trudeau signature <laughs> yes. at the rolling meetup. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And just, I mean, honestly, any, any time that, and it's not because like, it's not because it's a present or people are giving me stuff, but, but I get just like any time that somebody does send us something like tonight, we had two gifts for, for this podcast. And it's not, that it's, it's, it's not that it's like stuff. It's just, yeah, exactly. It's like people who we know more or less well, some of whom we may or may not have met in real life who think like, I'm going to go out of my way and get a, this thoughtful thing because yeah. it ties back to something we've talked about or, um, the themes of the podcast or whatever, and like send it to you, like that's insane. And like going back to um, sort of like the beginning of the podcast when Christy knitted us those pussy hats. Yes, like yeah. that's like a handmade that was gift. Awesome. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that's insane. It's actually right next to me. Right now. <laughs> That's like, oh, that's a good idea. I Janice, should have done mine out. Jenna says, you got you guys and words, you guys' words and faces are so beautiful. Uh, I was introduced to Colleen and Shandy during the tribe. Um, and then she said she didn't realize that Jay and I were married until the Fifty Shades of Grey podcast, that infamous podcast that will live on in infamy. <laughs> oh, that was great. Which is the reason that, that we need great. to keep that tribe feed going, Shandy. Uh, remind me about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. If for nothing else, no, let's but the Fifty yeah, Shades podcast, because I don't have that anywhere, and I need to save that somewhere. Yes. Uh, JP says, my favorite moment meeting everyone, uh, my favorite moment was meeting everyone now for a second year, realizing uh, these once a week shows have introduced me to people I would never have met otherwise, but are now people I would consider my friends for life. Aww. I couldn't have said it better myself. And then Mandy says, I still can't believe I asked the guy who took my virginity to give his feedback on him. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot, I forgot about, about that, that too. so freaking great. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, I forgot. oh, that's so good. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so funny. No, uh, I mean, we've talked about this a lot offline, but like, honestly, the quality of feedback that we get just like really, it really is, is to amaze us. Yeah. We've never gone a week without feedback. Now, some weeks we have saved it for next week, but we've always had enough. Because we've, we've had, had, too much. Much. <laughs> we've had too much. It's not because it's like we were afraid we weren't going to have any for next week. Right. Exactly. All right, it, so maybe, yeah. this is going to be a super, this is going to be a way longer episode than I thought. We've got one more email, uh, and this is from God. So, ladies of the broadcast, and then this is going to close us out. Uh, my favorite book when I was young was titled "There's a Monster at the End of This Book." The story chronicles Grover's fear and anticipation of meeting the monster, which he knows is lurking at the end of the story. So, like Grover, you must all now face this email with both both worry and eager anticipation, as I will reveal the identity of my favorite <laughs> broadcaster at the end of this email. Parentheses: I am betting Colleen scrolls directly to the end at this point, which I totally fucking did. It looked long, and I was like, I just want to know who it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yes, I did. It's uh, Matt, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I won't say. <laughs> Much like Matt's top 10 list of. No, best, he's a feminist um, now. Actresses. <laughs> he's a feminist now. Although, if this was Nick, he'd be like, I'm a feminist, but Matt's still my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Nick. I love you. I'll, <laughs> I'm going to be drinking with you in literally a week from today. Um, oh, first, okay. let me say congratulations to uh, of the on the 100th episode of the broadcast. What a wonder! What a bleh, I'm adding words in your mouth. I'm putting I'm putting things in your mouth. Got uh, <laughs> what a journey it has been. Although I do not believe I was around at the very beginning, I have been mm. listening for quite some time. I have learned a lot, laughed a lot, smiled a lot, and was some sometimes sad too. For all the hours of enjoyment, ooh, ooh, that triggered something for me. Sorry, oh, triggered, got, huh, sorry. Um, <laughs> 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 My other proudest moment was Maggie's phone call about 
the the march for our lives. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good too. Yeah. Because I couldn't believe that you know somebody shared that like with us. That was just incredible to me. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, for all the hours of enjoyment, I say thank you for all for sharing your talents and your dedication. The live broadcast in Raleigh was one of the highlights of the year. Mine too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was that was really that was so fun. <laughs> it yeah. really was. How are we going to top that next year? We got to start thinking. I mm. often joke two that- shots of tequila, <laughs> <laughs> just a mug mug of straight tequila. <laughs> No, yeah, uh, this mug. Did you guys? Because I have. Uh, if you're bringing the tequila next year, full mug, full mug of tequila. Uh, I will be on the floor. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I often joke I am a broadcast fanboy. I guess it's true. Listening to your podcast, I have also been forced to rethink some of my long-held ideas all too all too often. Not just on politics, although that is certainly part of it, <laughs> but more often than not, the podcast has allowed me insight into a female perspective on many topics. That is something that is incredibly value to be, uh, valuable to a man, even if we do not want to admit it. Still, being compelled to rethink your position is never easy nor comfortable. So, hashtag fuck you in the face for that. <laughs> <laughs> We will take that. Oh my god, I literally just snorted. It was pretty adorable. It was good. Next, I hope this email finds Colleen feeling better, particularly as is... uh, Okay, sorry. Jay's playing guitar out there and it sounded really funny. Uh, Particularly as it seems she was actually sick sick, not vodka sick. I was definitely not vodka sick. And this is my first night drinking since Sunday, so... Cheers. You <laughs> um, finally, to the business at hand. Who is my favorite broadcaster? Colleen. I have been listening to you for the longest of the broadcasters. Survivor podcasts and all the old Jay and Jack TV shows. You bring a unique hospitality to the show. You've been along that long since the Jay and Jack TV stuff? Like, wow. Like, Nudia? Crazy. You bring a unique hospitality to the show and are refreshingly open about your life. In Ra- Ooh, you mm-hmm. missed some of those early ones that were refer- referenced earlier um, that will make sure I can never be in a public office. <laughs> <laughs> in Raleigh, I realized you have an ability to make those around you feel welcome. You are a also wonderful true. host. Mm-hmm. On the broadcast, you never fail to crack me up. The only negative remark against you is your strange and irrational obsessions with early <laughs> 1900s Marine <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> Look, okay, I'm not a pizza gator, but I fucking think that they sunk the Titanic. I don't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever. The evidence is compelling. It really is. Uh, Amanda. <laughs> uh, what's what's to say about the two-time queen of cards against humanity? Mm. <laughs> You bring the po- you bring to the podcast a warmth and a cool calm. Uh, you tell a great story. I often feel you are the rock and the voice of reason on the show. It's true. Oh, wow. it's, it's, very true. true. <laughs> it's really true. <laughs> I have really enjoyed hearing about Mama G lately. You are oh, like the yeah. coolest and calmest New Yorker in history. Oh, that's because wow. she's from Connecticut. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Shandy. You and I will probably never agree on most political things in life, (laughs) but it is hard to deny that you come by your convictions in an informed and maddeningly persuasive manner. You are some often. That is very true. (laughs) Yes, you are. Not the maddeningly persuasive, but the informed and persuasive. (laughs) You are often somewhat rigid in your positions, which I appreciate. That's what she said. Oh, oh, you were waiting for that. (laughs) I'll set you up again. You are often somewhat rigid in your positions. That's what she said. <laughs> which I appreciate because I am similar. Maybe that should be our next shot glass. Rigid in your position. <laughs> oh, my God. I love oh it. God, please. Um, yes. Now, I'm petitioning Jacob for a champagne flute. <gasps> yes. I want so, one because mine broke. Uh, I don't actually own one, so I do actually need one. All right, everybody, okay. in your in the uh, mug thing to Jacob, make sure that you note you want a champagne flute. But the enthusiasm, passion, and moral clarity that you bring to the discussion never fails to challenge my point of view. You are a true social justice warrior, and I respect that. 
Thank you, because usually people use that as an insult. (laughs) (laughs) Matt, I am certainly proud of you for your recent recognition as a broadcaster. (laughs) Your top 10 lists are always a hit. It was great to meet you in Raleigh, but sadly you are out of consideration as my favorite broadcaster. Why? Well, I guess you're just not equipped to be my favorite. (laughs) Oh, he's left with heart balls. Uh, <laughs> God's playing hardball with Matt. Uh, finally, we have arrived at the end of this email. The explanations and anticipation have gone on too uh, long enough. The identity of my favorite broadcaster will now be revealed. Dun dun dun! If you remember the story, after much unnecessary fear, Grover found out that he actually was the monster at the end of the book. So, of course, my favorite broadcaster is all three of you. To choose one would be to diminish the blend of three unique people's talent that has gelled into a great show. Congratulations on your 100th episode. I will continue to listen until Dennis defeats Amanda at Cards Against Humanity or forever, whichever comes first. (laughs) (laughs) You have to really, we're going to have to train in the off season oh my god i know <laughs> listenership a download depends on it <laughs> i know it's oh, a lot of pressure i'm stressed out <laughs> and in case you guys were wondering about dindu and uh, my johnson they actually left us some text messages the other week uh i got them at uh, like two in the morning it was hello i am delivering agent gilmore clifford from the uk and that was the first one And then the second one was, as I told you, I am diplomat agent Mr. (laughs) Gilmore Clifford from the United Kingdom. Your consignment box was brought in my office two days ago from UN Office Nigeria to deliver the package. This was literally a text message. Uh, Deliver the package to wish you said to uh, contain the total of 2.5 million U.S. dollar UN compensation fund. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, he wants you to deliver it to... um, uh, JFK International Airport, and make sure that when you put this $2.5 million, you include your full name, complete address, copy of your identity card, preferably your passport or driver's license, uh, mobile number, warm regards, diplomat warm regards. Gilmore Clifford, <laughs> telephone number. Here we go, guys. And at first, I thought this was John Norton fucking with us because it's an upstate New York uh, zip code, but. Uh, not zip code, um, area code, but I don't think it was. Now, uh, 917-725-5897. So if anybody wants to help uh, <laughs> Diplomat Clifford get his $2.5 million, you can text 917-725-5897. <laughs> All right, on that note, this is a really friggin' long episode, so we should get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's only about 10 minutes longer than our usual episode. So thank you guys. Uh, there's a lot of penis stuff going on in the chat because I keep getting asked to approve things. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah. JP wants to know how can Dennis win at Cards Against Humanity if he gets flustered at reading hard, hard abs and rhinoceros cock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's no dick fingers, but... <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry that we weren't as good with the chat this year, uh, this time, but you know, there's always next time. <laughs> next time I'll go old school. I apologize. I was there for the first like 10 minutes of the podcast. Yeah. And then, <laughs> but and then the you. iPad went crazy and you guys know how stressed I was about copying and pasting that, that URL. So I couldn't do it a second it's a lot. time. It's, yeah. it's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, on an on an iPad on would have been iPad. bad. Well, if you on, felt you said something particularly of note that we should know about, email it to us. Exactly. Yes. Oh, actually, now we actually have zero feedback, so we need people to actually send us something <laughs> for next week. I think that we might be watching Handmaid's Tale and talking about it. So if anybody has Handmaid's Tale feedback, that would be great. If not, send your regular feedback because. Spoiler alert, I haven't started it yet, but I plan I know, on it. because I use, I use your Hulu account, so I know exactly how many episodes you've watched. Oh, you are? Yeah. I didn't know that. I haven't yeah. been on it in a long time. That's why you'll notice, like, some of the episodes are, are, watched, are watched already, because I watched them. Oh, oh. I hadn't. Yeah, I um, 
<laughs> Frank finished it and was like, holy fuck. Um, Tasia also finished it and wants to talk about it. So I'm looking at both of you to send us in feedback. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Send us the feedback. Send us your regular feedback too, please. Um, just in case we don't get to Handmaid's Tale next week. Um, <laughs> But no, send it because we do we do need feedback because um, now we are for the first time, I think, like officially empty. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you guys. Though, for- if you want to go OG style, tell us how you lost your virginity. Yeah. Tell us uh, all the know, things I've been masturbation stories. Oh, my God. Yes, that too. Um, just do it or start a new topic. We could do that, too. Yeah. Uh, it's, mm-hmm. it's episode That's 100, true. baby. We We're triple digits. What? Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're triple digits. We can do whatever we want now. <laughs> it's true. Yep. We've it's true. got tenure. But no, thanks guys for sticking around <laughs> for a hundred. Tell your friends about us. We want to try to build up some of our listener base. Give us a review on iTunes. That helps too. I don't know. Whatever else. Uh just general the housekeeping that I usually do. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you, Ed. I know you're in the chat. Uh, thank you to Joanne. Thank you to Maggie and uh, Tack and Eckhart. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody that's a patron. Check out, if you're a $5 more patron, check out the Patrons Choice Show for this month, which is bringing back the rant cast. And Shandy Ooh. comes <laughs> prepared, y'all. So, oh my God, I need to go listen. <laughs> it's really I make lists, good, bitches. Yeah, That's she made you. a list. Okay, so <laughs> just just check it out. Uh, it, it is actually it's a great great episode. I finished listening to it yesterday, and the only reason that it was yesterday was because I was sick for a couple of days. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you are on the five dollar level. If you'd like to become a patron, you can go to uh, patreon dot com slash jay and jack and um, you know become a patron. If you do become a patron at any level. Uh, you need to some fashion hashtag I'm with hers uh-huh. with the S yep. so we know that Plural. you're here for us. And I think that's it. Check out uh, the merchandise at the store, which is janejack.com slash store and uh, get the mug. It is one side is uh, uh, one side is universe. One side is science. Yeah. Yeah. It's not two separate mugs. It's one mug. <laughs> it's, one mug. <laughs> it's reversible. Yeah. Uh, both by Jacob, <laughs> but no, definitely check that out. Uh, I can't wait for mine to, to get here. And, uh, if you want to do the Amazon link, you can go to Amazon, uh, slash Amazon. I think that's about it for me for this week. Do you guys have anything? No, just thank you guys so much for participating and listening to us <laughs> no, and just uh-huh. like being part of this community with us. I, I, I just, I'm flabbergasted that people care. I know. It really is very, it's very flattering. Yeah. And I, I, I kind of cried reading some of the emails before, which is why I didn't cry now because I didn't want the show to become all about. <laughs> got, the, like, got the tears out. I, yeah, I, I mean, you are sh- coming back from being stomach sick. You are probably still a little dehydrated. So, you know, you gotta, I just can't spare watch the your, moisture. Watch your fluids. <laughs> can't spare the moisture. Uh, yeah, I'll do another spare. itty bitty one because I really can't, I, I'm still, you know, whatever, but. <laughs> My good I'm friend Frank from France. Is it still Gots? It's tequila? still Gots. I don't have other tequila, just his. Nice. I'm not a big tequila person. That was good. But yeah. This was really good. Despite the face that I made. <laughs> That's what you said, Matt. <laughs> all right. We love you all. Have a great evening, mm. day, morning, whatever you're doing it while you're listening to this. Drive safely, run safely, work safely. Whatever. All right. Just good night. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun and be safe. As yeah. Have fun and be safe. Say. Yeah. Yes. Fuck safe. Like you that. do whatever you want to do. Solid, but, solid you know. advice. Yeah. All right. Covers all the bases. <laughs> all the bases. <laughs> Back right. to baseball, hardball, softballs. All right. Yeah. And bases. And we're done. <laughs> and, and we are so out. Boom. All right. Good night, guys. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.